You're probably not thinking about death right now, are you? If anything, you're probably avoiding thinking about it, something most of us do. But every once in a while, we are reminded of it. In fact, anthropologist Ernest Becker called this self-aware state in which we are fully aware but not very fond of our impending doom, the terror management theory. This is the theory that not only do we distract ourselves from mortality, but we create really complex cultural worldviews to ease the sting that is the knowledge that we will eventually shed our mortal meat bags. And this is where the idea of terror management and immortality narratives come into play. For one person, an immortality story could be, say, the promise of an afterlife. For another, it could be ensuring that the memory of your life persists well after you're gone in a kind of immortal form like fame. And for the most part, these immortality narratives are A-OK -okay unless they cloud your thinking. To wit, social psychologists Jeff Greenberg, Tom Pazinski, and Sheldon Solomon sought a group of the most balanced objective people they could think of, judges. Now these judges completed a set of questionnaires consisting of standard personality assessment instruments. But the crafty psychologist embedded two questions meant to trigger thoughts about death in about half of those judges' questionnaires. The judges were then given a legal brief to review and set a bond. The arresting charge? Prostitution. Now, the judges who weren't reminded of their mortality set the bond at $50, which is pretty typical for this kind of charge. But what what about the ones with the death trigger questions, with all of their training to be objective and analytical? Well, they set an average bond of $455. Unconsciously, they doubled down on their sense of morality and virtue, trying to perhaps ascribe some meaning to life. A life that ultimately reaches the same conclusion as a rotting peach or a mouse torn to bits by a cat. There's really no story to blunt that fact. When I'm reminded of my own mortality, what do I turn to? The 1981 classic Clash of the Titans. That really diverts my noggin here from thinking about it. What about you guys? What movie or thing do you turn to to try to forget this uh, idea that we're all these ephemeral meat bags just passing through? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.